Welcome back to our College Legends 1v1 tournament. In this video, we will be taking a look at the first round action from the guards and wings side of the bracket. The first matchup that we're looking at is the one-seeded Oscar Robertson facing the 16-seeded JJ Redick. The Big O won the shootout to get the first possession and eventually the first basket off the layup. As you can see, he now scores back-to-back -back layups and JJ Redick down 2-0 early, but spins, hangs, and finishes with the left hand. That'll cut Oscar's lead in half. Now he hesitates, tries to drive on the right side. Once that baseline goes right and finishes with the left, tying up the game at two. JJ Redick, of course, the 16 seed as Oscar pulls up with a foot on the line. That'll make it three to two. He rejects Redick now on the next possession. Pulls it out to the top of the key, goes left, cuts back right, hop steps and finishes and that pushes the lead back to two as Oscar misses a long jump shot. JJ Redick tries to drive and he gets past him with a thunderous jam, cutting the lead in half as Oscar tries to answer back and he does with a layup. Lead going back to two now. Oscar with a dunk of his own. He throws it down with two hands that time as a nice look at the replay right there. His eyes were almost at the rim. A nice vertical showed off as JJ Reddick comes right back with a three right off the exchange. That's one way to answer back from getting dunked on as the lead dwindles down to one again. Oscar tries to drive left with a post hook. That's no good. Corrals miss, puts it in. Seven to five game here as JJ Reddick scoops it in with his right hand. Back to a one point game. Oscar, nice crossover on the baseline there, pushing that back to two. It's like a heavyweight match, just these guys are exchanging blows right now. As there's another layup from Redick, as this the one seed Oscar, as he misses a point blank layup right there, cannot shake the 16 seeded Redick. As Redick now ties the game 8 to 8. 8 to 8 here. JJ Redick with a clutch three that falls short. That would have been a big shot for him to hit. Robertson gets the rebound, spins, tries another post hook this time with the right hand, gets to go. and later on in the game 8 to 10 he needs one more basket to win a beautiful up and under move that'll give Oscar Robertson the win and he avoids the first round shocker now the winner of that game will face the winner of this game between 8th seed Steph Curry and 9th seed Pete Maravich Steph Curry hits that tough layup to fall in traffic as he'll get the game going as Pete then Inches back with a point of his own, but Curry pulls it from way downtown in the corner. Now it's 4-1, to one, right off the catch as Pete tries to answer back, cannot get that to fall. Curry at the elbow, and another tough layup. That'll give Curry a hot start. He's up 5-1 to one early on Pistol Pete, but Pistol Pete comes right back and scores a layup of his own. Curry wants the baseline, throws up an up fake, gets him to bite on it, and now it's a 6-2 game as Maravich misses a 3 in the corner. Curry has the shot but doesn't take it, and I think Maravich thought he was going to shoot too. He overcontested, making it a 7-2 game, but does convert on a layup there. They exchange layups, making it 8-3. Pete Maravich driving left, knocks down Curry as he finishes that time. 9-4 game now. Maravich driving again. He's really shying away from that jump shot as he's not been... Very good from there as Curry just needs a two for the win and he gets it. Right off the catch, he just let it fly. And our first round matchup there will be between Curry and the Big O as here's Kevin Durant and Michael Jordan going at it now. The 5 and 12 matchup. KD, the 5 seed, pulls up in Michael Jordan's face. He gets out the fall. 2 0 game early. Jordan crossover, spin move. In traffic, that's no good, but corrals his own rebound and gets it to fall underneath the basket, avoiding the long arms of KD there. KD takes his dribble to his left and just pulls it right in his face, 4-1. Durant with a nice little post hook inside, he can definitely use his size to the advantage as he is 6'10". Jordan at this point in his life was only around 6'5", maybe 6'6", but that would be very generous as KD blows right past him and dunks all over him. Making that a 7-1 game. Jordan definitely needs something to fall here if he wants to stay in contention for the upset. And he does get the fall. Now an 8-2 game. Jordan spinning around KD. Gets out the fall. 8-3 game. Jordan's defense has definitely been hit or miss today. As KD has quickly got to 8 points. Now another 2-pointer. 10-4 now. 
KD just needs a layup to finish this, and he does finish off Michael Jordan, 11 to 4. Now, moving on to our 4 and 13 matchup, we have Gary Payton and David Thompson, the five seed Gary Payton, a 6'4 point guard against the 6'7 athletic wing of David Thompson. Speaking of athleticism, a tomahawk slam as he blows past Gary Payton off the crossover, making it a tie game. But now it's two to one. A two-pointer for Gary Payton. Now it's 4-1. Spin move inside. David Thompson misses that inside layup badly as Gary Payton pulls it out. Drives right past him. Misses the gimme, but recovers and puts it in. Narrowly escaping a embarrassing miss right there as David Thompson comes back with a layup of his own. And now a beautiful up fake. Moving on, it's now 7-3 as Peyton pulls up from way downtown, does get the friendly roll. Very impressive right there on the shooter's touch. 9-3, David Thompson trying to stay with it, trying not to be another blowout here in the first round as now it's a 6-10 game. This game moving along very fast as David Thompson needs to do something fast if he wants to stay in this tournament as that's a nice little spin layup, cutting that lead to 3. 10 to 7. It's game point though, however, for Gary Payton as he pulls up with a foot on the line, left wing. That's good. Gary Payton will move on to face KD in the next round. Now, a uh, very anticipated matchup right here AI versus uh, Trey Young as Trey Young starts with the ball. AI missed the shootout, but AI does block him on the first possession, but he does get the miss, put it in. 1 0 Trey Young early. Speaking of corralling a miss, AI's First point is very similar to Trey Young's as he capitalizes on the missed layup and then he quickly scores a two quickly after that. 5-1 to one AI after another close range layup and AI with another layup back to back 6-1. to one. Trey Young trying not to be another blowout victim here in the first round as he gets that layup to fall. 6-2. to two. No good on the layup from AI but a offensive rebound that's been... A common theme here for Trey Young, he's letting Iverson do whatever he wants on the offensive glass. Trey Young trying to do some work in the post as he gets that one to fall, 7 to 4. He needs a defensive stop here as his defense has been very lackluster. Driving baseline. Iverson another layup inside. 8 to 4 game as Iverson goes right, and that's a slam! No shortage of posters here in the first round as now the six foot Iverson gets one of his own, but Trey Young does dwindle the lead down to two with that layup, but a three to win it does not get it to fall, but AI does corral that miss, put it in 10-7. Now it's the game point. All he needs is one basket. Trey Young's reaching, trying to stay in front as he knows what the score is. AI crosses, double cross, spin move, puts it up. And Allen Iverson will be facing the winner of the Jerry West and Jimmer Fredette game. As Jerry West surprisingly misses the shootout, so Jimmer will start with the ball. Jimmer pulls up from 10 feet on the baseline. That's good. He gets the first basket of the game as Jerry West comes right back with a tough layup of his own in the middle of the paint. Jimmer crosses over Jerry West, showing a little bit of his ball handling. But Jerry West comes right back with a very similar play as Jimmer Fredette now up 3-2. to two. Jerry West with a beautiful little post hook there. It's all fours here right now as Fredette spins. Somehow gets past Jerry West and that all increases lead to 5-4 to four now. Jerry West tries to take the lead of his own and he does get that to fall as the three from the right win. But Fredette does come back with a tough layup of his own to tie it up. Jerry West with another three from the similar spot as the one he hit before. 8-6 game. Jerry West, tough layup inside. 9-6. Looks like he might have this one locked up, but Jimmer Fredette does block West trying to be too fancy on that layup. And that leads to a bomb right there. 9-8. A big clutch three there, cutting the lead to one. Jerry West for the win, however. That's short. It was on point, but he didn't have enough legs into that one. Jimmer, though, trying to show him how it's done as he gets that for the three to fall. Back-to-back -back clutch threes gives Jimmer the lead here late as he tries to knock off the three seed Jerry West, but he does tie it up. West makes the lead all tens. Jimmer driving baseline, crosses it over. Left-handed layup on the right side. Nice move. It's all 11s now here. Jimmer double cross, corrals it, and a beautiful bank shot from eight feet there as he gives himself a lead, but you must win by two. Jerry West crosses left, throws it back right, misses the gimme. 
Jimmer Fredette can knock off the three-ranked Jerry West with just a basket, and he does not get it to fall that time. A double cross led to a gimme for Jimmer, but he cannot finish. Now he has to have a defensive stop. He tips that shot from West. That's very clutch as he's back in the same situation. He tries to win it with the three, and he does. The 14th seeded Jimmer Fredette knocks off Jerry West. After a battle of the ages, Jimmer will be facing Allen Iverson in the next round, but here is the 7 and 10 matchup Paul Pierce and Jason Kidd. Paul Pierce gets us underway with a baseline basket as Jason Kidd comes right back, knocks it up at one. Paul Pierce pulls it out, tries a, a long three, and that's nothing but net. Three to one game here. Jason Kidd crosses left, back right, leaves Paul Pierce in the dust. Jason Kidd with that very impressive handle as it's knotted up 3-3. Paul Pierce finishing in traffic, 4-3 now. Kidd, nice double move right there, tying it back up at 4. Pierce, a hook shot, and taking advantage of his height as Kidd is only around 6-3, 6-4 compared to Paul Pierce's 6-7 frame as that doesn't stop Jason Kidd, however, from converting on that basket 6-5 game kid jump stops inside gets the friendly roll 6-6 six, six now Paul Pierce comes back with a beautiful reverse layup of his own 7-7 seven, seven game now as kid makes a basket to answer him back and he also blocks Pierce but Pierce does rebound from that block and as Jason Kidd with a dunk of his own ties the game 8-8 eight eight. another thunderous poster here in the first round but Paul Pierce does make that beautiful layup from underneath now in double digits Paul Pierce just needs one more basket to finish off Kidd as Kidd finishes nice job using the glass there as Paul Pierce tries to finish Kid maybe in the post. Does he pull it out? No, he wants to finish him from underneath, and in traffic, he does. Paul Pierce, the 10 seed, knocks off the 7 seed. And will be facing the winner of this game between Irvin Magic Johnson and Adam Morrison. As Morrison gets us underway. Magic Johnson, a step back from inside the post. That's off the back rim, but corrals the miss, puts it in, tied up 1-1. Morrison blows by Magic, surprisingly, and that's a 2-1 game now. Magic Johnson gets his layup swatted by Morrison. And then Morrison tries to come back with a deep three, and that's a quick 4-1 start for Morrison as Magic does get the friendly roll on the layup. 4-2 game. That's no good. Magic crosses over in another slam. Beautiful move right there, leading to a thunderous dunk. That may turn the tides. In fact, Magic Johnson quickly now has his first lead of the game after that dunk. Morrison not out of it yet as he still has the quick trigger finger he always had at Gonzaga, giving him the lead right back. Another three off the back rim, a long rebound. Magic Johnson has a free lane as Morrison also tried to corral that long rebound. Magic Johnson cannot get that to fall. Tough break right there as Morrison pulls it out, tries another long three, cannot get the friendly roll, both having bad luck there from the unfriendly rim, but Johnson from way downtown, Magic Johnson showing off a range, some range a little bit, which you don't really see from him, but now he's got Morrison with his back against the wall, that finishes him off, 11-8, Johnson avoids the first round upset. Before we go, let's take a quick look at our guards and wings bracket. Lots of thunderous jams, lots of long bombs, but also a lot of blowouts. Can the uh, big men first round be a little bit more competitive maybe? Let's find out. Next time I'll bring you the first round of the big men. Stay tuned.